Hey guys, and welcome to the big one. This is Resident Evil 3, and holy shit, I am excited. Um, we have completed challenges, apparently, because I have been testing this game. I cannot get OBS to really run modern PC games on my new AMD Ryzen CPU. I don't know why. It is massively faster than my old AMD FX. Uh, but even at the same settings, it stutters and chugs and just does not work. However, we are using Shadowplay now. So, I have had to extensively test the game. And with Shadowplay, I seem to be able to get 1080p60 with very little uh, issue. So, let's get into the game. Uh, I'm going to take you through my graphic settings. I don't know why that's red, because I'm using optimal settings that are absolutely fine. And can we have 1080p, please? Thank you. Uh, yes, I thought everything looked a little bit soft and weird. And we do not want to be playing in uh, that kind of resolution. Uh, that frame rate, I should say. Because my 1060 cannot do that. My 1060 does about 90 FPS. Uh, which is fine. You know. It really is fine. Uh, V-Sync, yes please. We want texture qualities on high, which is interesting. But there are a couple of effects here that I do want to turn down. I don't know why it's allowing me to do that, because my... I don't want lens flow on. Uh, we're not wearing fucking goggles, for Christ's sake. Um, lens distortion is off. Good. There we go. I don't know why it's allowing us to do that. My graphics card only has 6 gigs of RAM, but apparently this is optimal settings for my setup. So, let's go. Story. I played a little bit into this game, probably the first 20 minutes or so, just to get acclimatized to the recording setup and all that kind of shit. It was actually a friend of mine, Jimmy Fails. He has a channel called Jimmy Fails. I shall link it in the description of this video that suggested I try Shadowplay again. We are going to be running with... We're going to go new game. We're going to go stand... So, assisted. Aim assist. Recover a certain amount of health automatically. What? Enemies are a little weaker. Begin the game with a fucking assault rifle. Kind of like the original Resident Evil 3. Uh, except if you played on easy on the original Resident Evil 3, you started with all the weapons. Receive more ammunition when crafting. Okay, so we're going to go standard. Standard load for every road. Uh, Raccoon City. Can't read it. SSDs. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Oof. Angry mobs are the city burning buildings. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked out conscious yet. A citywide emergency has been declared. The CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern Officials region of the can't U.S. Say. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. Uh -huh. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. brighter future, huh? Ooh. There's our boy. There's Nemi. Umbrella Corporation. Cartridge for bioweapon, code name Nemesis. How fucking cool is that? Oh yes. Hmm. Bit of a sleeping fully clothed. Bit strange, Jill. But okay. Hmm. So here we are in Jill's lovely apartment. Um, 
She's a bit of a reader. What is she reading? They killed him! Hmm. University combat? Or unnerving combat? Hmm, okay. So what have we got here? We've got some creams and things by the heater. A very nice TV for the time, I'm sure. The window's open. Uh, Jill, let's sort that out, shall we? You don't want to have the window open. There we go, that's a bit better. Bit of a shitty day out there in Raccoon City. I mean, she's kind of taken her clothes off. But she's kind of not as well. Maybe she's in pyjamas. So she's been drinking a few beers. Yep, not surprised. Ooh. It's Annette. Umbrella? Maybe. Raccoon City. Oh, this is cool. How cool is that? Okay, I like it. Very cool looking stuff here. What CDs? We can't see what music she's listening to. It's got to be metal, right? A nice piece of toast there. Jam, lovely. Ooh. <laughs> that's cool. Actually, that's really cool. Good feeling. Moon's Donuts. I like the rocket launcher there. There's pictures of her and, you know, whatnot. I guess that makes sense. Okay, not a bad apartment, I suppose. I, mean, I would have thought a high-ranking member of stars would have had, uh, you know, a little bit, something a little bit flashier. But, but why buy more than you need, you know? And there's our girl. Yeah, she's... Maybe she just had a nap. You always keep a gun by the sink, Jill. Seems questionable at best. Oh. Oh, dude. Ooh. Oh, that's horrifying. Oof. Um. Oh, okay. Back in the room. Okay, no. All right, girl. Gets worse every night. Yeah. Shit. That was rough. Three more days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. Why more three days, Jill? Why three more days? Well, I mean, I. Yes, we're back to reality. Something appears to be going on outside. What's going on out there? I don't know. Uh, all the telly box is kind of working a little bit better than it was. Oh, yes, this is a little bit more like it. Oof. Too many pills. Too many or not enough? I don't know. Who knows anymore? Um, cute that pops. What? Original colours. Style and fashion. Hot autumn looks for cre mm -hmm. Yep, I think I've seen enough of that rubbish. Jill's report. September 26th, 1988. It's already been two months since that mess of Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, uh, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I've found will provide to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. The T-Virus. Those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It happens to be a communicable uh, via several different avenues outlined below. A bite from an infected inv individual, allowing the mixing of bodily fluids. Contact with crows which have eaten infected Karen. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be known that those who survive the incident have not yet developed uh, symptoms. It is unclear, uh, unclear, unclear whether it is because the virus has had a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. 
We ought to remain vigilant, even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from minor difficulty sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could be just an extended incubation. Yeah, let's try not to think about that kind of stuff, Jill. I'm sure it's weighing heavy on your mind, but... Investigation notes. Pharmaceutical companies... Uh, industry leader in market share, focusing focuses on military weapons development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company. Also secretly developing bioweapons. T-virus outbreak at Arctic Mountain Research Facility. Uh, ah, pre preceded the mansion incident. Conspiring with raccoon leadership, large donations to Mayor Warren's office uh, effectively controls the city. Okay. Alright, well, she's been doing her homework, for sure. Unsealed envelope. They got me pinned down at home, guys, across the street, watching me from their window 24-7. Are they irons, men? Umbrellas? I don't know. And there's no real difference, anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance. And it's working. I'm barely eating, uh, sleep, eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city. I have to find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed or whatever, it is... Uh, is it is they... Do, or whatever it is they do to people like me, you must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files, and they tell you everything you need to know. As long as this package isn't intercepted, I'll be moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. Oof. Bloody hell. Message from a colleague. To Jill Valentine. Hey, Hotshot. How are you holding up? I still can't believe Iron suspended you. It's such bullshit. He ought to pin a medal on you for making it out of that hellhole back in July. Of course, you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the force. When the chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it you're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by whilst you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Stars Alpha Team, now and forever. Brad Vickers. P.S. I had to sleep this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the guys. Ha! Huh. Mega Meat Supreme. Good, good. Looks like she hasn't been taking care of the place. Oh, Jill. Moon's Donuts. So, oh, Jesus, Jill. Seriously? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess she's thinking of walking out in this place anyway, so who the fuck cares, right? Uh, interesting stuff so far. So she seems to be quite close to Brad, which kind of makes sense, I guess. They were working together. He seems to be a lot more friendly than I thought. And we are in the original costume, which is slightly disappointing, but we'll get into that in a minute. And here we go. One thing I don't like about this costume is very hard to see. Oh, phone call. But she's not actually wearing a skirt. It's more like some shorts. It it's odd, but whatever, I guess. Alright, I'm coming. Who could be phoning? It's probably Brad. Actually, we didn't look at her bathroom, did we? Just a sec. <laughs> Just a second, god damn it. I want to check out the bathroom. Oh, it's kind of shitty. Uh, is She's a bit of a messy woman, I've got to be honest. But then, she's probably quite stressed, to be fair. Oh, she got a bottle of vino there as well. Nice. Is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. 
What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You got to get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my. Ah! Oh. Oh. Oh, hi fella. You appear to have a bag on your head. Oh, dude. That's not how you treat a lady. Oh, man. So he's like totally covered in his suit. Holy shit. Uh, Jill? Yeah, let's... I don't know, but... You were worried about someone coming to silence you and... Oh, fuck. I guess that's the guy. Oh. Run. Run. Must run faster. Um, through here, I guess. Oh, Jesus Christ on a fucking motorbike. Run. Oh, dude, you... you dude, you... Uh, I don't have time to give you a hand. Sorry, buddy. Keep hanging in there. I'm sure... Oh. Sure you'll make it. Eesh. Jesus. Uh-oh. See what I mean? She's wearing shorts. She's not wearing a skirt. Oof. Which is fine. But if I pre-order the... and uh, uh, supposed to get the original costume, I want the original costume. Not... Like, if they said a reimagined costume, fair enough. But... Oh, jeez. Even her top is kind of wrong. I guess it looks a little bit more realistic, but... Oh, fuck's sake. Dude, seriously. Could you... Yeah. Please. Oh, dear. Jill, don't look. What am I talking about? Jill's a survivor. Jill's a warrior. Unlike Claire and Leon, who are kind of rookies. Jill... Oh, shit. Run, Jill. Please, run. Oh, stars! I'll give you fucking stars, Nemi. Don't you wait. Just you wait, I should say. Uh, lucky break? Question mark? Yeah, the cool thing about playing as Jill is she's actually a, a hardened, like, warrior. So... Whereas Leon and Claire were kind of civilians. I mean, I guess Leon had a bit of training. Claire had Chris. Oh. Hey, Brad. You okay? What was that thing? Tim, if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. <laughs> you and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. I like Brad's redesign. Brad looks cool. This all happened so fast. Ooh. One fucked up thing always leads to another. Yeah, I guess so. This is Yeah. This is co cool. Hey, wait. Down here. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. I mean, we're kind of half dead, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's temporary. I don't know. Oh boy. Uh, dude. Yeah. Uh, we should run. Hey, Jill, what did you do with that handgun of yours? Oh, right. Yeah, you don't have one. Uh, Brad, instead of just standing there like a lemon, let's like get out of here. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice work, Brad. Oh. Shit. Oh no. We're gonna make a run for it. Come on, Jill. We know how this ends. No. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Go fuck up like I do. Go! Oh no. Brad. Brad's not chicken heart. It's a fucking hero. Ooh. Hello. Brad. No point being sorry, Jill. We need this. He's done. We're not done. Come on, buddy. 
I don't have time for your... Oh, okay, we're going. We don't have time for your bullshit. Let's go. Oh, dear. Just breathe, Jill. Everything's going to be fine. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. Why not? Oh, dude. Uh, do you mind just giving me a minute? I just want to slip past you. Thank you. Uh, yep. On it. Ooh. Uh, oh, hey, friend. Uh, you sure about that? You sure? Because I'm pretty sure this place gets nuked. And um, one second, guys. I have a package. That's typical. Ah, right, we're back. Okay, cool. Mrs. His new work trousers. Ah. Um, now, where were we? Ah, yes. Let's get out of here. Yeah, pretty sure this place is getting nuked, mate. So, ooh. Dog. Let's run. Let's run fast. Let's run very fast. Oh, hi, sir. Hello, sir. Please do not take a chunk out of my ass on the way. Uh, dude, I know it's probably a nice ass, but no biting. No, no biting. Oh, hey, friend. I don't need a ticket, thanks. I just need to get out of here. Uh, bullets would be nice. How many bullets do we... Oh, hey there. Shit. Yes. Um, oof. Ooh. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, shit. Dude. That's my girl. Good stuff, Joe. Oh, dude. This is pretty savage. Like, why is she wearing shorts, though? I don't... Oh. Well, that was fairly easy. Nice. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed Resident Evil 3, guys. Uh, it's been a fun game. Uh, I give it uh, four viruses out of six. Okay. I guess were it so simple. Oh, hey friend. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> what? All right, Jill, let's do this. Let's do this. Ooh, he's a spicy big boy. Uh, Jill. Come on. Turn, bitch. Yeah, fuck you, Nemi. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Oh, come on. Jill, is this a good idea? E no. I'm sorry, what? How did we survive that? Oh dear. Uh, Nemi. Nemi. Oh, ho, ho, ho. There's our boy. Uh, Jill, this, this could get uncomfortable. I, mm, uh. Ooh. <laughs> nice catch, Nemi. Damn. Carlos. Hey, easy lady, I got you. Who are you? What do you do? Carlos. I'm saving you. Oh dear. Let's get you someplace safe. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Nemi. Uh you're not concerned that you've just used a uh, rocket launcher on Nemi and he's just having a bit of a sleep. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? 
My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Oh, you're a douchebag. You seem like you're a bit of a douchebag. I'm gonna be honest. Um, we're gonna have to go around. Probably a good idea to close all the hey, what do you know about that monster? exits. To be honest. Nothing. Never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Ooh. Would you like that in a man? Ah. Uh, uh, you, Carlos, you're weird, man. I promise you're in good hands. Yeah. I, with the umbrella biohazard countermeasure service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Well, you don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Jill's a big girl. She doesn't need you, buddy. Jill could probably kick your ass any day of the week. Ooh, lobster. Jim's crabs. Oh, you don't want Jim's crabs, I can tell you. Party, party, party. Hey, let's play with me. Uh, no. Skull Stalker. That actually sounds pretty cool. Alright, well, Tyrant of the Deep. They weren't extinct, only sleeping hell squid. Astro Crunch. Skull Stalker, adrift in space. Hmm, I'd watch that. Skull Stalker on the Red Planet. Biggie, back home for one night only. Oh, God. Must read comic books. Mega Man, Living Corpses, The Great Gladiator, Fighting Story, Piracy Under the Waves, Horror, Untold Tales, Zombies, They Come to Town. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, guys, before we go any further, I'm going to have to end this game, uh, I think, because uh, we are almost on half an hour at least. I have to kind of guess. We'll just get this bit. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of... RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, Platoon Leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm sure we can do that. Anyway, guys, I am now going to have to uh, leave this here because my break is over and I need to go back to work. So, uh, early impressions. It's cool. <laughs> Nemesis is freaking cool. Um, I'm not a fan. Ooh, dude. She's using an F8 spray. Uh, I'm not a fan of Carlos. He seems to be a bit of a dick penis man, but... We shall see. 
as the game goes on. Uh, I'm sure we're going to get a lot more with him later on anyway. But I'm going to get this edited and then I'm going to have to go back to work. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try and upload this tomorrow and then I'm not sure how often thereafter I will be able to upload this game. Uh, internet is a very sore spot. We've just been told that to upgrade to fiber, it's going to cost us £10,004. Yes, £10,004. So we are looking at other uh, avenues at the moment. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, till next time.